White-tailed deer are the largest North American deer. At one point, they were becoming actually quite rare due to overhunting, but now because hunting is regulated and controlled, white-tailed deer have made a very good comeback. They are herbivores, so they're going to eat a variety of plants. They're going to graze on grasses and leaves and even fungi like mushrooms and lichen. Speed and agility is what they're going to use to escape from the predators. They can run up to 30 miles an hour. They can leap as high as 10 feet and they can leap as far as 30 feet out in a single bound. So they tend to run first, ask questions later if there's anything suspicious. Now the male deers are called bucks and bucks do grow antlers. Antlers are made of bone, a very fast growing bone. And so the antlers can also be used for defense when the males are fighting each other or potentially even if a predator was to attack a large buck, he would use those antlers to fight back. They are plentiful in any of our natural areas. Um, many of our parks, like River Bend Park, is a great place where you can go to see white-tailed deer in the wild. At Okahili Nature Center, we have a herd of now seven white-tailed deer. Our deer are in a very natural compound. They have six acres that is fenced in here. So although we do take care of them and provide them with food and veterinary care, um, they really lead a very natural existence. So. Um, coming here to see the deer, it is a little bit like spotting deer in the wild.